Have you ever wished that old photos could come to life? That you could step into them, walk around and see the world as it once was? I will try to do something pretty close to that here. My name is Martin. Welcome! The goal here is to create a model of Stockholm as it looked like 100 years ago. I will do this in the game City Skylines. I will record while I'm building so you can follow along and I will release everything as a series of episodes. The plan is to build at least the central parts of Stockholm. I can't say how long that will take, or even if I will be able to complete it. Maybe my aging computer will give in, and the game engine has some hard limits as well. So we'll see, but I will do my best. I have sort of proven before that this kind of thing can be done. In 2017 I made a model of present-day Stockholm. I won't reuse anything from that model, simply because it's not accurate enough. Even the map is new. I've never done a YouTube series before, so this is a new experience for me. I will do this in English, but as you can probably hear, I'm Swedish, and English was actually my worst subject in school. So this will be a big challenge. But I feel excited about this, and I believe that this is something that hasn't really been done before. Making a historical model on this scale, at least not of Stockholm. In fact, I think it would have been impossible to do just a few years ago, at least for one person on a standard home computer and in a reasonable amount of time. Some of you will be familiar with Stockholm, but not with the game, and others will be familiar with the game, but not with Stockholm. But I guess most of you at least have some connection to Stockholm. I will probably include some history along the way that's connected to the places we're building, but I must emphasize that I'm no historian in any way. I haven't really decided exactly which year the model will reflect, but say around 1925. Stadshuset was completed in 1923, and there is a very nice model of it in the workshop, and I want to include that. As you may know, Stockholm has changed a lot in a hundred years. During the 50s, the 60s and the 70s, many of the old houses in the city centre were demolished and replaced by large office buildings. Some can still remember what it used to look like, but many from the younger generations don't know much about it, but I suspect that this is something many are curious about. To be able to do this, I need to know what Stockholm looked like back then. To my aid, I have the site Stockholm Sjallan, with many old maps and photos, and also some other image archives. I probably won't be able to find photos that cover everything, but I'm sure that some of you who are watching this know much more of Stockholm than I do, and will be able to help me if I get stuck somewhere. So I hope that this can be a team effort. Of course, the exact buildings don't exist in the game, 
with a few exceptions, but I will try to find ones that are as similar as possible. There are thousands of buildings available in the game, and almost all of them are made by other players. Besides that, there are some details that are currently hard to change. I will get back to that later. Also, consider what you see as a work in progress. Sometimes I will go back and improve areas. Maybe I haven't found a good match for a building and left it out for the time being. If you are playing City Skylines and wonder about the mods and the assets I'm using, you can find links to my collections in the description. The map and the city itself will be released eventually when this series is completed, but my model of present-day Stockholm is available in the workshop. As you have seen, I've already built the old town, Gamla Stan and Riddarholmen. They look almost the same today as they did a hundred years ago. A lot of the houses here are three or four hundred years old, or even older. The biggest challenge here has been the royal palace. I haven't found any building that is both roughly the right size and the right style. I ended up using multiple instances of smaller buildings instead, and placed them so they overlap. That is a trick that I will use from time to time. Ok, enough talking for now, let's get started! This episode is mainly an introduction, but I want to do some construction work as well. I want to complete these blocks near Slussen. This is actually a surprisingly tricky section. Slussen is a complex place, partly because much of the terrain is pretty steep, which makes it very three-dimensional. Ok, let's have a look at some pictures from this area. One would think that there should be pretty good coverage this close to Slussen, but actually it's not that good. This image is taken from Katarina Hissen, but it doesn't really show the area we want to build, because it's hidden behind the buildings in the background. And this one is taken in another direction, but much of the area is still hidden, but you can see some buildings at least. This one is taken from the middle of the area, but it's from the early 50s, so it's much later and many things can have changed. And the same thing with these three pictures, they're all from the 50s. The area was obviously very rough back then, but it's not that pretty today either. It's a parking lot for buses, and it's also where the highway goes down in the tunnel under Södermalm. Ok, two more, one pretty old, and one is from just before those buildings were demolished. I've found a few more pictures, but I haven't found one that shows the area from the north, so we don't know what it looks like from that side. The 1885 map gives some more clues. It's the only map that shows the shape of each building. Other maps only have the whole blocks and just the roads. Ok, finally, time to start building! I have sped up the recording quite a bit, and I will do so in the rest of this series as well, otherwise this will be very long and fairly boring. But let me know what you think about the speed, if it's too fast, too slow, or about right. Maybe it looks a bit intense at first, but you can get used to it, I think. I struggled a lot with this area. It looks easy, but I couldn't make up my mind about which buildings to use, so I kept demolishing and trying out new ones. I left some of that out to spare you from it. If you haven't seen City Skylines before, then perhaps you feel a bit confused about what you are looking at right now. But don't worry, I'll explain. This is a game where you play as mayor of your own city. It's very similar to SimCity, if you know that game. You do all the city planning, and if you do things right, and provide the citizens with good public services, like schools and hospitals, people start to move in, find jobs, and generate tax money so you can afford to build even better services, and so on. 
I'm of course not really interested in those aspects of the game, I just want to use it as a 3D modeling tool. So I've disabled a lot of the game's logic via mods. In the unmodified version of the game you can't even place buildings. That what you do is you create zones for different types of buildings, like residential, commercial and industry. And depending on how attractive the zone is, the game creates a building for you. But I've changed that, because I want to create the buildings myself. The terrain in the game has a maximal area of 18 times 18 kilometers. You can play on a real piece of terrain by providing the game with a height map of the area you want. And then you'll have to do some tweaking to make it look good, adjusting sea levels and adding trees and so on. Finally, there is a mod that lets you superimpose an image on top of the terrain. If that image is a geographical map of the same area, you can fit any map you want to the terrain, which really helps a lot when you create road networks and place things. I hope all this at least makes some sense now. This is however not a tutorial, so if you're looking for advice about how to play the game, there are much better videos about that.
Okay, almost done now, just some decoration left. I'm not entirely happy with it, however, so maybe I will adjust a few things later. The music you've been hearing is from YouTube's free audio library, and the lovely jazz music in the intro is from a friend of mine and his wonderful band Dr. Pam with Friends. They often play live in Stockholm, so if you happen to be here and are into jazz, boogie and blues, I definitely recommend to check them out. The best way is probably to follow them on Facebook. I'm going to end today's episode with playing the whole song. I hope you liked this, and if you did, you can thank me by giving this a like, leaving a comment, hitting subscribe, or sharing this video. Constructive feedback is appreciated, and if you have any questions, please ask them, and I will try to answer them in a later episode. Have a nice day, take care, and see you in the next one. Sunday, that one day I could be with you.